Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? It is Kevin with Optimize Essentials and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to get rid of your anxiety within 10 minutes, okay? Now this is no joke, but before I share with you what that is, I want you to watch my previous video, my first video on why am I always anxious, right? Why do I always feel anxiety? because that will set the framework and the foundation and the awareness behind why it is you're experiencing anxiety all the time. That is gonna be addressing and identifying the root cause, the cause and the effect. Your anxiety is the effect, the causes of your anxiety. This is gonna be the solution, right? Temporary solution of fixing anxiety now. But if you don't understand why your anxiety keeps coming, why it keeps reoccurring, then doing this as a band-aid or doing this as a one-time thing or repeated thing isn't always, I mean, it can help if you make it a practice, if you make it a habit, but you want to fix the causes of your anxiety first by watching that video and understanding what is at the root of your anxiety. Why are you stimulating yourself to have anxiety? And once you understand and comprehend that, then let's go into this. But I'm assuming you already watched that because I referred you to this video from that. And you know, I, before I even, before we get into it, I wanna share one last thing. If you guys have any criticism or any judgment about why you should take advice from someone who doesn't experience anxiety, I want you to understand this, all right? I don't have anxiety or experience anxiety often because I do these things or I do the things that allow me to not have anxiety, right? You should take advice from someone who doesn't have the problems that you do or, uh, you know, have transcended those problems because of the things that they do do, all right? And let me give you an example. For, for example, health, right? I don't have problems with my health because I'm healthy. So you should take advice from someone who doesn't exactly experience these health issues because they do the things that allow them to not have those problems in the first place, all right? So if you have any doubt or any 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 uh, criticism over listening to my advice, just try what I have to say first and know that the stuff I'm sharing with you today, that's gonna allow you to not have anxiety in general, right? Okay, so I don't want this to be too long, so let's get right into it. I promise you guys 10 minutes. Here's the basic concept of what we're gonna do. We're gonna do breathing exercises, number one. We're gonna do intention exercises, number two. And also, we are going to do vibrational exercises, number three, okay? If you can hear the music, I'm playing a certain vibration. So what I, what I need from you is, ideally you have something to sit on, right? That's, a secondary actually ideally you have something to lay down on like a sofa which I'm about to show you right here okay so if I can if I can show you real quick here's a sofa I'm at work right now I should be working but I'm filming this for you guys I want you to lay down if you can if you don't I'll show you how to do it on the chair can you see me and I want you to put your feet up 90 degrees take your arms open wide like Jesus okay just lay back like this like you're on the cross have everything wide open Okay, if you can do this, if you're at home, if you're not at home, or if you're at work, like what I'm doing, see if you can uh, lay down somewhere and have your arms open. If you can't do this, then sucks to suck, right? We'll do it on the chair. It'll work hopefully just as well. Okay. So if you don't have a place, if you don't have a place to do this, if you don't have a place to put your legs up, what you want to do is you want to grab a chair where you can externally rotate your arms, okay? What, is it, what do I mean? So external rotation, you want to turn your arms out like that, right? Chest up, arms out. And I want you to pop your chest up like this, okay? I want you to pop your chest up like this so that you can open up your chest and breathe because if you're anxious all the time, chances are you're not breathing correctly. So what I want you to do is you wanna open up your chest, externally rotate your arms. I like to grab onto this. And then the first thing we're gonna do is breathing exercises, okay? When you breathe, I want you to breathe 
completely, all right? Exhale completely. Inhale as long, as slow, as deep into your belly as possible, all right? Do not breathe through your chest. Breathe with your belly. So you wanna inhale as long, as slow, as deeply as you can into your belly. Hold it for as long as you comfortably can, all right? So if it's starting to feel like you're losing air, your hip stings and it's just pressure in your lungs, exhale and then exhale completely and do it over again. And we're gonna be doing that. I want you to be doing that for the next three minutes, okay? And then afterwards, I'm gonna share with you how to set an intention into your body, how to experience a certain emotion. And then also that vibration exercise, I will do this again after you finish watching this video. I want you to put on some headphones. So instead of watching me, I want you to repeat the exercise, put on some headphones and listen to some 432 Hertz music, okay? And I'll show you exactly what I'm listening to right now so that you can see what's going on. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, right here. So 432 Hertz. The wish fulfilling frequency attract love i don't really care for that manifest miracles in your life okay it doesn't really matter i mean I, it does matter what type of 432 hertz just because some sound better but find one that resonates with your heart with your being okay so let me share with you how to do the breathing exercise because a lot of people do this one incorrectly okay so i'm gonna pull this back i'm just adjusting right okay okay so we got three minutes Ah, oh God, okay, this is good enough. All right, so sit onto your chair, externally rotate your body, pop your chest up, okay? So you wanna push out all the air first until you can't push out any more air. And then remember, on your inhale, as long, as slow, and as deep as you can. And do this with your eyes closed. Hold the breath. So that was one repetition. For the sake of this video, we already feel calm already. For the sake of this video, I'm only gonna do this once, but I want you to repeat this 10 times, okay? As long as you want, if you lose track, that's fine, but just do it as many times as you can. 10 is just a number I threw out there, but you, again, you want to exhale, push out all your air, inhale, fill your belly up. Watch how I breathe. I filled my belly up, filled my chest up, and breathed, breathed into the rest of my body. And if you do that five, six times, once you're done, you should feel instantly calmer, and, but to cement this feeling even more, vroom, 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 to cement this feeling even more, now I want you to take your hand, your right hand, put it on your belly, your left hand, put it on your heart. If you're a female, I believe in Chinese medicine, they say do the reverse, but eh, whatever works for you. I want you to close your eyes, take your hand, Put it on your heart, right hand on your belly. Keep breathing. And I want you to set an intention. Feel your heart. I want you to set an intention for yourself, right? Now this could be anything that resonates with you. It could be along the lines of, no matter what I'm feeling, what I'm suffering, what I'm experiencing in my life, it's gonna be okay. And it's gonna be for my highest good. And you don't have to repeat this the same way I do. I want you to say something to yourself that resonates with you because your higher self knows what it needs to say to itself. You know how to take care of yourself. You know how to love yourself. Whatever experience you're going through, whatever emotion you're feeling, feel your heart, comfort yourself, tell yourself you're gonna let it go. You're gonna do whatever it takes to make it through to the next day so that one day, you can heal your pain, you can heal your anxiety, and that you can serve another individual, another human being. And as you're breathing and you're setting this intention, 
the last thing I want you to do, I want you to take your middle finger or whichever finger, I want you to put it on your third eye, okay? Now, if you think this is woo-woo, just get out of my channel, I'm serious. You're gonna put this on your third eye, you're gonna press it here, as you're breathing, take the other hand, you can move it up into your heart, keep it in your heart, keep the finger right here in the third eye and just hold that for the next minute or two and just breathe into the, your into your being with that intention in your mind and just hold that, breathe that until everything starts to calm down, okay? So I encourage you to repeat this exercise with um, 432 hertz or uh, whatever calming rocks and music. 432 hertz is the frequency supposedly of love and anxiety cannot exist when you're in a space of love. So I chose 432, I listen to it every now and then, you know, I've been listening to it more just because I wanna be more in touch with my heart. I don't experience anxiety, but uh, I do uh, get uh, stagnant because I literally sit in this office. This is a family business, guys, so this is a little bit straight. We do uh, bathroom vanities currently. I sit in this office from 10 o'clock to nine o'clock, right? From 10 to six, I'm helping my family business. And then from six to nine, either I'm eating a little bit and then I'm doing online business. So I'm literally like, I feel like I'm in prison. <laughs> but um, listening to this music calms me down. I don't get anxiety, I just get, like I have too much energy. I want to go out and explore the world. I wanna meet beautiful women. I wanna eat food. I wanna go on adventures. But right now I'm disciplining myself and I'm, I'm sacrificing now, pain now, like lifting weights so that I can experience pleasure in the future, right? So all these exercises, they ground my energy. They bring me back to the present moment. So I encourage you to do all of these exercises as I mentioned. Number one, breathing deeply, fully. If you're doing that on the ground, hands wide, breathe in deeply, fully. Once you, that alone, breathing correctly, holding it, ex exhaling fully, if you do that correctly, you probably, anxiety is gone, but to set and cement the feeling more, put your hand on your heart, on your belly, set some intentions, press into your third eye to really open up your intuition. And then after that, you want to repeat it again or listen to the 432 Hertz and you should be solid guys fixing your anxiety in 10 minutes, maybe even less. I'll do one on depression because depression is a little bit more, I wouldn't say advanced, but you have to take a few more steps to fixing your depression. But anxiety, you can cure your anxiety within minutes just by following this, okay? So make sure you give this video a thumbs up, like it if you did, share it with a friend who has anxiety, and also comment down below with any other enhancements that you can potentially share with other people so that they can benefit what you benefit because maybe this practice isn't for everyone. Maybe you have a better way of doing it. Who knows? Optimize Essentials is always about finding that optimum optimization. So share it with other people. I hope you enjoyed that. Stay tuned for more because I got some great videos coming your way. Peace.